name is Isto Mattila. I'm coming from Finland. I'm representing University of Laurea. I'm a research director of, of the whole university. If you don't take the comprehensive approach, you might missing something important pieces of the puzzle in order to make uh, business run smoothly. And that means also that uh, the security and safety elements are not taken care of, for example. And that's uh, safety and security is one of the important elements of maritime policy. And the maritime policy is a part of the maritime security policy in, in the Commission. Safety and security is the everywhere in your life. You are not uh, littering seas, you are uh, buying the car which is uh, not consuming too much uh, gasoline, everywhere. And at sea you want to keep them clean and uh, operational, that you have a uh, fish enough, you can swim there, and uh, they're safe to sail, and, uh, and uh, ships are well built, etc. It's everywhere. The seas are, let's say, very big kind of uh, ecosystem with a uh, lot of actors, what we really don't see. You, you don't kind of uh, recognize all the actions and regulations and, and uh, rules what are linked to the seafarers and the authorities and research uh, and uh, uh, or fishermen or, or everybody as we as uh, citizens. We need to kind of uh, understand the whole business before you can develop it in any area. That's why that's uh, one of the most complicated areas what we can have in our everyday life. But we don't see it. Today it looks like when you go to the pool beach and, and you see it looks nice, but uh, really it wouldn't look like it if we don't follow our uh, kind of a common agreement how to act at sea. That's a fundamental agreement in, in the United Nations level. It starts from there. And then you go to the national regulations, you go to European level regulations, you have to have a lot of kind of uh, agreements that your cruise shipping is uh, safe and you can have a holiday and, and trust the ship owner that uh, you can have fun and good time without caring so much about how, how the, the, the management of the ship is working. It is full of different kind of uh, agreements how to navigate the ship, how to build the ship safely, what kind of a fuel they can use not to pollute too much. Etc. How you uh, manage your wastewater, etc. There are things which might be better in the future, but uh, these uh, kind of uh, actions on board they are very complicated. I'm living in Helsinki, which is the nice city next to the sea. A bit different what you have here in the North Atlantic approach, but uh, the sea what we see it's kind of a very fresh, nice area to have your free time. It looks like it's clean, but it's one of the most polluted seas in, in the world. That's why, of course, we are concerned about the possibilities to make it better in the future. It's so small. It's one of the busiest sea areas in the world. There's a lot of economical activities in, in the Baltic Sea, and that means that uh, ship, ships are, and, and the people are living and activities are kind of creating problems. Like agriculture is one of, of the uh, biggest the polluters, not shipping so much. Farming around makes it kind of uh, easily uh, polluted. I've been working in the maritime quite a long time, so we, I meet a lot of friends here, and we can talk about what could be the future challenges where we can take part together. And uh, as a university background at the moment, we are looking for the new opportunities for research. There are opportunities always. The question is about funding and the good partners and a nice uh, kind of uh, understanding what should be done next step. But this is not always easy to achieve. But uh, I'm looking for uh, to have opinions in different uh, channels in order to, to build up more cross-sectoral approach in the future.